you may cringe when filling up your gas tank. Arizona ranks in the top 10 nationwide for the price of regular, a regular gallon of gas, according to AAA. I find that several ride-sharing companies and public transit are handling the price jump in different ways. High prices and higher stress. There are times when I'm like, I really probably shouldn't drive down there. Lindsay Krause says the same thing as most other drivers. It's just really expensive to fill up my tank. Krause is a driver for DoorDash, a popular food delivery platform. They'll offer me um, orders and they'll tell me what the price is going to be and how far I'm going to have to drive, what restaurant I'm going to go to, and then I can decide if I want to accept it or not. DoorDash and other similar companies like Uber Eats and Lyft announced they're giving drivers extra funds to offset the cost of gas. Uber and Lyft are adding fees and giving them directly to drivers. DoorDash isn't raising its prices, but it's giving drivers 10% of their gas purchases through the end of April, up from the normal 2%. It, you know, incentivizes people to continue buying from DoorDash, which is important because the less people that buy, the less orders that I can get. Gas prices have dipped slightly in the last week. Still, John Trenner with AAA says the West is dealing with some of the highest prices in the country. What we can tell you about Arizona, as is true of a lot of the West, Utah, and Nevada, um, they are the 10 states with the largest weekly increases in price. As of March 22nd, a regular gallon of gas in Arizona is $4.61. According to AAA, nationwide, it's $4.24. And as gas prices increase, so do the number of riders on public transit. Brittany Hoffman with Valley Metro says they've seen a jump in riders. I can say over the past six months, as we have slowly seen the gas prices tick up, we've definitely seen an increase in ridership. Valley Metro has no plans to increase fares for riders. At this time, Valley Metro does not have plans to raise fares in any capacity due to either ridership, gas prices, that's not what causes the fluctuation in our fares. Krause is watching the prices closely and is more aware of how she's getting around town. It's really important for me to like go with other people and carpool so that I don't have to pay for the gas. The average fuel surcharge for Uber and Lyft is between 35 and 55 cents per ride or order.